Hey there. So today is day two. Um, if you're not subscribed uh, to my YouTube channel, it's Cynthia Dales. Um, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and you'll get uh, notifications on all these videos. Um, so today is day two. Again, we are talking about balance today. So this is going to be uh, an, a fairly easy one for most people. Now, if you have any kind of leg injuries or back injuries or anything, make sure you check with your medical professional before you begin these. Um, but it should be pretty much easy for everybody. So here we go. We're going to give this a quick shot. So what we're doing is, and I'm going to push this back so you can see my feet. There we go. I think you can see my feet there. So what we're doing is we're going to be working on balance on each leg. These are balance, leg balance exercises. And basically what you're going to be doing is bringing your knee up, your foot off the floor. Now I'm using this to stabilize myself for right now so we can do this. But you're just bringing this up off the floor and we're going to do this for a count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure when you're doing that, you're keeping your hips forward and your spine aligned. So we're going to switch the other foot. Now I'm using this just as a stability thing, being out of surgery. So here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you are feeling comfortable enough that you don't need stability with a chair or something beside you, do the same exercise, but you're just going to bring that leg up and hold for a count of 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're going to feel all the muscles in the thigh and the glutes, the calf, the ankle, your foot. You're going to feel a lot of things flexing as you do that. Okay, and then again, we're going to go to the other side. And we're going to bring this knee up and we're going to hold for a count of 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's okay, I'm going to zoom in, it's okay if you need to hold on to something because I'd rather have you be safe and do this exercise and get some benefit out of it than not hold on to something and, and not have a good outcome. So now I'm going to show you a couple other places you can go do the same exercise. Again, you know, you've got counters in your kitchen. It's a great play to place to balance. So see, I've got this nice island here. It's perfect. We're coming in. Sorry about the little trip. So again, same thing. Hold on one finger. You put your hand, just don't mash into it. So you're just going to gently place your hand here or even a finger or two fingers. And you're going to hold three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, the tendency is like I was slightly leaning there. We want to make sure our spine is straight and our hips are forward. Again, we're going to pull up the other foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want that instability because that's important. You're building those muscles. You're making those muscles fire. Another place, just like holding on a wall or even holding like onto a banister, anything like that would work. Um, so a couple things you can do to create a little bit more of an instability factor for yourself when you're doing this exercise is going and doing this on a, a yoga mat, not the skinny ones, but the thicker ones, like the ones that are like this. Um, actually, I prefer those. Um, but those things will create instability. Again, make sure you have a chair or something near your as you're progressing in this exercise. You're going to want to start maybe three to five reps, holding ten on each side as you progress. Then you're going to want to go to maybe doing five to ten sets or five to ten on each side at ten seconds each. So you're looking at a total of 50 seconds on each side if you're doing 10 reps. Again, it's very, 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 um, balance is huge, especially as we get older 
It's really important. Your balance is really, really important. So again, and as you're healing and progressing, if you have any kind of injuries, again, check with the physical therapist or your doctor before you begin those. Okay. So the other thing is, the last thing is, I don't know if you've seen these, but it's a blue squish mat. They're about 18, 12 to 18 inches maybe by 18 to 20. And they're thick. I mean, they're really thick. And those take it to another level of doing the balance exercises. So my question to you is, yesterday, day one, I told you I was going to a Christmas party. And I bet you've been wondering how I did. Well, I actually did really well. I went there and they were having a meat that I don't particularly like to eat. And it's it was a barbecue meat. And in barbecue, unless you get a low sugar one, has a lot of sugar in it. So it wasn't my favorite and I was eating later than I normally do. So I thought, uh, I'm not going to have this, but they had like a kale broccoli salad with, um, some nuts and dried cranberries in it. And then somebody had made like, um, I don't know, 10 bean casserole type thing. It had, it was very unusual. It had like green beans and it had like lima beans and it had like, um, baked beans in it and a little bit of bacon in it. Um, and, I'm not sure what kind of sauce they used, but it was actually really good. So I had that um, and a few corn chips. Um, and then for dessert, they had some kind of a tuxedo cake, but they had cut it like super, super thin. So it was like, you know what I'm going to have? I, and I was, I was really full, believe it or not, from the uh, casserole and the, um, the salad, the kale salad. So I didn't have that much. Actually, I ate what I felt good with and then I just pushed it away. Um, I didn't have any alcohol, um, cause I don't consume alcohol, but I did drink, um, probably three bottles of water. Um, it was quite warm in there. So, um, that was to a win-win for me. So, and I felt really good when I left. So it, it was a good thing. Uh, I felt like I did really well with my food. So that's it for today. That's day two. So balance. And then don't forget we're doing our scapular rotations shoulder in the back upper back so we're doing those and then we're doing the balance so that's it for day two you guys are awesome keep going um be back tomorrow with another exercise for you and we'll talk about another subject if you have anything you'd like to talk about it list it in the comments below and uh if i can address it with you i would be more than happy to if you're okay with talking about it on the video so that's it for day two, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.